Hey guys, today I'm taking you on a tour of Potassium's space-themed cage. Now, this was set up a couple of days ago, so Potassium's already made a little bit of a mess, but it still looks pretty much the same. Before we start, for those wondering about the cage, it is the DIY Extra Large Billy Cage, and if you want to see how I made it, I'll link the video down below. Let's start this tour off by talking about the substrate. This time I've used a combination of children's play sand and regular potting soil. This is potting soil that has no fertilizers, nothing extra added to it, just plain soil. And that is perfectly safe to use in your hamster's cage. The sand that I prefer to use comes from the Early Learning Center toy shop. It's their 10 kilogram bag of children's play sand and it only costs 6 euros 50. Now you may have noticed that this time I have not used a lot of substrate. Hamsters are burrowing animals and typically they do need to have enough that they can build nests and burrows in. However, it's so incredibly hot at the minute, it's about 110 to 120 degrees, that potassium has absolutely no interest in burrowing. He just lays out on top of the substrate so I don't feel it's worth putting in a load at the moment, but come winter time, he will be back to having several inches of substrate. On the back of the cage is some adorable space themed wrapping paper, and I attach this simply by sellotaping the top to the back of the cage and then letting the substrate hold down the bottom, so there's no sellotape along the bottom of the wrapping paper. On the left side of the cage is the rocky climbing area, and this is made up of a combination of real rocks and paper rock hideaways. If you want to know how I made these paper rock hideaways, there is a tutorial on my channel, and if you want to know how to cleanse rocks so that you can put them into your hamster cage. That video is also on my channel and they will be linked down below. The great thing about having real rocks in your cage is not only does it look fantastic, but rocks tend to stay cooler than other parts of your cage, so it gives your hamsters somewhere to crash out on warmer days. It also provides them with a great place to scratch their claws so that they don't get too long. Also part of the rocky corner is a quirky little decoration. It is simply a paper rock with some paper tentacles coming out as if a little alien is coming out to grab potassium. Next to the rocky area is a puzzle playground and I'll be honest with you guys, I have not used this thing in months because it is a pain to put together. When you're just about finished, one of the walls flies off, the whole thing collapses in your hand and it's just so, so frustrating. But it does look great in this cage theme so I had to go through that stress just to put it in here. In front of the puzzle playground is just a simple plastic tube, this is in a blue colour, again, just to match the theme, and next to that tube, some more decorations, these are just some quirky little space mushrooms made, again, from paper and flower glue. Potassium's wheel is the blue 8 inch comfort wheel. These things are really cheap and really easy to find. I got mine from Viovet's website, but if you are not a fan of wheel noise, these things are not silent. So if the noise is going to bug you, I would not suggest getting one. Next to the wheel is a little space themed hideaway, and I think I also got this one from Viovet. In front of the wheel is the DIY spaceship we made a few weeks ago, so you can find that tutorial on my channel. Doesn't it look adorable? You should see Potassium when he's in it, sticking his little nose out the window. He looks so, so cute. In front of that is another DIY build. This is just a dip and dive crater. Now, I don't have the specific tutorial for this on my channel, but you can follow the exact same tutorial as I did for the rock hideaways and just cut a few holes in it afterwards. That's essentially what I did. To the right of that is Potassium's DIY Crater Bowl, once again tutorial on my channel, and for those always wondering, the food that I feed Potassium is Bunny Nature's Dwarf Hamster Dream Mix. Then we have this black T-junction tube which leads onto the green hide and seek cube. I bought this one at a local shop, but again you can find these all over the internet. They are very cheap, very easy to get your hands on, and hamsters, especially dwarf hamsters, love these kind of toys dip and dive, hide and seek toys, they go crazy for them. At the back is a simple jar with a starry pattern on it, and there are a couple more rocks on this side of the cage as well. Then we have Potassium's chosen nesting area, and I'm so glad he chose this one to nest in because it took me so long, but it looks so good, at least I think it does. This is just a metallic, spacey themed building. I tried to make it look as sci-fi y as possible, and I'm really happy with the way it looks. It's got all the little fake nuts and bolts around it, so I think it's fantastic, and apparently Poe does as well. Unfortunately though, once again, 
tutorial not on my channel for that one. Sorry about that. And now in the front right hand corner of the cage you can see this area is just dedicated to sand and potassium loves it. He loves rolling about in it. He also has a little glass jar in the corner which has some deeper sand in it so you can have a dig. That's another great way of your hamster wearing down their claws but it's also just great fun for them. And of course the mandatory bendy bridge is in this area as well. He also has his water bottle which is held up by a simple water bottle guard. So many people ask me about this. I think I bought this from Viovet but I'm not sure they still sell it. You can buy them on Amazon though. Just type in bottle guard, gerbil bottle guard, mouse bottle guard, whatever, you'll find it or in the gerbil section of pet shops. The reason these are sold in gerbil section is because gerbils are known big chewers, so they tend to need guards around their bottles. But with hamsters, these are fantastic for hanging a bottle in a tank or any cage that doesn't have barred walls. And there we go, I think I have covered everything. This was the first proper themed tour that I've done for this cage, so hopefully I didn't miss anything out because this is a bigger cage than I'm used to. It certainly took a long time to get everything together for it. At least I'll be well prepared next time. But anyway guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up. You can also share this video with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.